right. think there's something special about the fact that you are a newspaper journalist. That kind of training I really respect. And that was only after 10 years in the business. Remember, Howard, I became a columnist in 2003. Back then, there was no social media. And so right. before then, if you remember, you could write features, you could be an investigative reporter, you could be a beat writer. Only columnists had the license to express their opinion. And That's I right. wasn't allowed to do that till 2003. Didn't you want to say to your boss, I'd be a great columnist. Stop putting me on the beat. I had to work my way up. When I became a columnist in 2003, I was the 21st African-American, the 21st black man in this nation's history to become a general sports columnist. There was only 20 black men before me, 20 black people before me that pulled it off. So it was an incredible, incredible accomplishment, which is why when you got these bloggers out here talking their shit sometimes and all of this other stuff, I remind folks, excuse me, I ain't no damn blogger. I worked my way up to get to this point. I said yep. I, I was I was living off a of tuna fish and Kool-Aid working in Archdale, North Carolina. I did four internships before I became a high school reporter. I worked for 14 months at the New York Daily News before I covered college. I got promoted seven times at the Philadelphia Inquirer before I became a columnist. And all of this was before ESPN ever came about. My opinion is earned. It wasn't given to yes. me. Yes. You see, I agree with that. I think there's a reason, a deeper reason why you are the number one guy you have that formal training that you had to sit there and write articles without opinion. My credentials, and, 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 and I'm particular about this, not with white folks. I mean, white folks that say screaming A and all this, that's cool, man. It's no big deal. My man Mad Dog Russo, my buddy, they don't call him screaming A, they call him Mad Dog, but it works fine. So be it. But when black folks don't embrace what folks are trying to do and fend that off, that upsets me because I am somebody that's trying to set a path for future folks on the come up from my community to be in this position one day. You don't allow someone to re forget my resume. You, if you're a black person, all of these jobs that I had, all of this work I put in, all of these sacrifices I made, you're going to let somebody come to me and say, oh, he just screams without, without, while forgetting all the stories that I broke, the dominance that I exhibited covering the NBA, and the way I built my career over a span of 25 plus years. You're just going to let them forget that? If they forget my resume, what are they going to do to your resume? Doesn't it drive you nuts when someone says, oh, Stephen A. Smith, well, he's just a rich asshole. He doesn't know what it's like in the hood. He doesn't know this shit. My exact words is, fuck you. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're clueless. Right. Look at my resume. Google me, as Shaq would say. Google me. It's all there. There is nobody that can question my resume. Because I've been, I've done what all of these reporters are doing. And a matter of fact, I did it when it was harder. Now, Howard, do you realize what you could do now, what you literally could do now? You could sit back and wait for players to tweet. Right. And just take a quote off of social media and write a damn article. You don't have to break stories. I had to break stories.